Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ang Agham! Our topic for today is about elements and compounds. Have you ever wondered why a huge gap between diamond and graphite exists? even though they have similar composition and both are just made of carbon. In fact, ang diamond ay ang hardest mineral known to man, and graphite is one of the softest. Diamond is very precious and expensive compared to graphite which is cheap and it is simply found in our pencils. The answer lies in the difference of atomic structures between diamond and graphite. And carbon is just one of the amazing elements in the universe. Let's know more about them in our topic elements and compounds. Una ay ang elements. Ano nga ba ang elements? Elements are the simplest pure substances that make up all matter and made up of only one kind of atom. San ba makikita ang complete list of elements? Makikita ito sa periodic table of elements. Halimbawa, ang carbon ay makikita sa periodic table. Makikita mo doon ang kanyang atomic number, atomic mass, and other details. This is an example of a periodic table of elements. As of the moment, meron tayong 118 known elements. At sa 118 na ito, these elements are those that are found in the Earth's crust. We have oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, and calcium. So 118 na elements, only 5 are present in the Earth's crust. At itong 5 na to ay commonly lumalabas sa mga quizzes, sa mga tests, sa mga national competitive exam, at sa mga college admission test or entrance test. And the way to memorize these five is the mnemonic OSYC, Oxygen, Silicon, Aluminum, Iron, and Calcium. Take a look at this pie chart. Makikita natin that oxygen comprises the biggest part of the crust with 47%, followed by silicon, aluminum, iron, and calcium. So itong lima na to, they are already arranged sa pinakamalaking composition until the smallest composition. At out of 118, 4 elements make up about 90% the composition of the oceans. These elements are oxygen, hydrogen, chlorine, and sodium. Take a look at the pie chart. Makikita natin that oxygen is 86% in terms of composition, followed by hydrogen and chlorine then all others but mostly sodium and out of 118 tatlong elements ang most abundant in the human body ito ay ang oxygen carbon and hydrogen this chart represents the elements in the human body and their corresponding composition and makikita natin that oxygen takes up most of the composition of the human body followed by carbon hydrogen, and nitrogen, calcium, and other elements. In our discussion about elements, we will encounter the symbols of the elements, and we need to be familiarized with the symbols of some common elements. Ano ba ang mga common elements na ito? First, we have carbon, fluorine, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Madali lang i-memorize ito. Just take the first letter of the element. Carbon for C, Fluorine F, Hydrogen H, and Nitrogen N. Next set, 
we have aluminum, barium, helium, and calcium. To memorize this, just take the first and second letter. Aluminum, Al, barium, Ba, helium, He, calcium, Ca. Ano pa ba mga common elements? We have copper, iron, mercury, and potassium. Itong four na ito, these are elements na medyo nakakalito yung chemical symbols nila because they are based on the Latin names of the elements. For copper, we have Cu or cuprum, iron, Fe or ferrum, mercury, Hg for hydrargarium, potassium, K for kalium. The interaction of elements produce compounds. Ano ba ang compounds? These are substances consisting of the atoms of two or more elements that are chemically combined in a fixed proportion. What is an example? We have water or H2O. Pure water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom per molecule. The properties of water are different compared to each individual atom. Compounds can either be organic or inorganic. What are organic compounds? Organic compounds are carbon compounds. These are substances that contain the element carbon, pero may mga exemptions. That's why it is emphasized that these substances containing carbon commonly come from living matter and their remains. Ano ba yung mga exemptions? We have carbonates, carbides, cyanides, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. These are not organic compounds. Instead, they are inorganic compounds. Ano bang inorganic compounds? These are substances that do not contain carbon and are usually found outside the bodies. Examples of this are salt and ACL, Water, H2O, these substances do not contain carbon. But there are exemptions. These inorganic compounds contain carbon. Carbonates, carbide, cyanides, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. Trivia Talk! What is an easy way to identify a compound as organic or inorganic? I'm going to share a tip. Earlier, we defined organic as having carbon compounds and inorganic as having compounds with no carbon. But, there are exemptions like the carbide, cyanides, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. One tip that I would share to you is to take a look at the chemical formula of the compound. For example, we have methane or CH4. It has a C or carbon so we can assume it is organic but are we really sure to make sure let's take a look at the element beside it common organic compounds have hydrogen so kung yung carbon naka-attach siya sa hydrogen you can bet that it is an organic compound so methane is an organic compound it is a fuel found in natural gas Let's have another one. Ammonia, NH3. It's easy. Wala namang CD ba? Walang carbon. So this is an inorganic compound. It is a compound used in fertilizer production and it revives fainting patients. Next, glucose, C6H12O6. So we have C. So baka organic siya. Pero let's take a look. Meron ba siyang hydrogen na naka-attach? Meron. So now we are sure that glucose is an organic compound. It is the sugar found in the blood. Next, we have carbon dioxide, CO2. Meron siyang C, but are we sure that it is an organic compound? No. Meron bang hydrogen na naka-attach? Wala. Only oxygen is attached. So this one is not an organic compound but an inorganic compound. It is used in fire extinguishers and ingredients of soft drinks. Next, table salt or NaCl. Meron bang carbon o C? 
wala. So this is surely an inorganic compound. Table salt flavors food and it is used as a preservative. Quiz time! That ends our discussion and I will give you a short quiz para malaman natin kung may natutunan kayo. I will give you 3 minutes to answer this quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check. Number 1. Compounds that contain carbon are said to be organic. Next, copper's chemical symbol is Cu from the term cuprum. Number 3. This is found in fertilizers and cleaning material. Ammonia. Number 4. Carbonates. Cyanides and carbides are blank. They have carbon in them, but they are inorganic compounds. Next, an inorganic compound found in our exhaled breath. The correct answer is carbon dioxide. Kindly comment your scores in the comment section below. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode. We hope that you learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!